Now that we've built a few spreadsheets, let's take some time to practice. We're going to go ahead and create a new spreadsheet, and this time you're going to do it on your own. Uh, we're going to start off by creating a new spreadsheet and calling it Mileage Tracker. And what we'll use this for is just basically identifying how, you know, if we were filling up our car with gas, how many miles we traveled, what we paid, just so we could keep track of things. So we're going to create a few column headers. We're going to create a mileage, which is just going to identify what the current odometer reading is in our, on our car. We're going to create gallons, which is going to tell us how many gallons we put in the car at each fill up. And we're going to create a price to identify how much gas was at that time. So you should start by entering these values, 21,210, 12.259, 3.41, 21,540, 11.811, 3.42, so on and so on. You might want to pause the video at this point to, so that you can take time to enter all of these different values. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you a, a moment here. Now once you've done that, go ahead and format. So we're going to format each column header as Arial, 14 point, bold, and italic. Then we're going to format each one of the mileage values. Now you can select all of them and format them all at once. We're going to format them as numbers with no decimal places. We're going to format the gallons values as numbers with two decimal places. And we're going to format the price values as a currency. So what you should end up with if you've done everything is you should see a spreadsheet that looks an awfully lot like this one. So you can see the mileage values, the gallons, and the price. Go ahead and take, a, take some time, see if you can get your spreadsheet to look like this. In the next lesson, we're going to get into some of the more uh, complex mathematical functions of a spreadsheet. But for now, enjoy, practice, and we'll see you next time.